Now, what is this? If I'm alive, what am I doing here? But on the other hand, if I'm dead, why do I have to wee-wee? I've already stated that vampire sex comedies mostly are a recipe of disaster. No, it's not about all! Oh, it's not about that! Oh. I will tell you that vanity projects are another recipe for disaster as well. Vanity projects where the film features someone with mediocre talent, that is. Nai Bonet was a Vietnamese belly dancer who wrote herself in a film called Nocturna, Granddaughter of Dracula. Nocturna is bad. The acting is bad and the plot is bad. As a matter of fact, you'd like to see a little something? I'd love to. Nocturna runs a hotel. I guess that was Dracula's castle. The Dracula family runs on hard times, so Nocturna starts a disco in the hotel. I just recently watched the film and there's nudity all over the film. If you like nudity, this film is for you, but remember this film was made before the VHS craze of the 80s. So think about those poor theater workers of the 70s. Yeah! Nye Bonet was past her prime by the time this film was made. Bonet lacked the acting and the charisma of a Bridget Bardot or even a Sophie Loren at the time. John Carradine, who worked for a bottle of scotch and some Metamucil, and Yvonne De Carlo could not save this horrible film. Your destiny is locked. I've got to change. It's very important to me. What are you? An idiot sandwich. I want to live the rest of my life and finish it like a human being. I recently watched both these films and laughed a lot watching Love at First Bite. I just felt bad and sorry for everyone who participated in Nocturna, Granddaughter of the Dead. And if you guys want to start a podcast of your own, you can go ahead and click on the link below. Podbean will give you everything you need and you get one month for free. And thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and sharing right here on the Coconut Daddy channel. Who's your daddy?